Hey, Brett, we're here with a forgetful gentleman. <laughs> Brett, can you tell us about forgetful gentlemen and how, well, I guess it'll help gentlemen not forget things that are important in their lives. Exactly. So the whole idea, us men, we have these good intentions, but we're terrible at the follow through, especially when it comes to writing and sending handwritten notes. So our correspondence systems remove all those obstacles that get in the way. So an example would be we tell guys what to write and we do it in Mad Lib form. So we call this Forgetful Gentleman's Guide to Articulate Writing or Forgetful Gentleman's Guide to Saying Thank You. We have postage already on the envelopes. We of course have masculine stationery because guys, they don't need all the flowers and kind of frou frou -y cards. And then we even have uh, an online reminder system. So the men receive an email or text message reminder before Valentine's Day or Mother's Day or Mom's birthday or their girlfriend's birthday. So they'll never forget. So between reminding them when to write it, telling them what to say, giving them the masculine stationery to do it, and even having the postage stamp to be able to drop it in the mail, there are no excuses to ever forget. Wait a minute, you're, you're taking away my questions because I was going to ask you, you know, why somebody should do something like this when you could just uh, drop them an email or do what, a Blue Mountain so greeting or something? Yeah. It's so much easier. Well, that's exactly why there's this reviving this lost art of the handwritten note because when it's your birthday, you go on Facebook, you probably have like 50 Facebook wall posts that say happy birthday exclamation point and everyone's the same but you'll get those one or two handwritten notes that really stand out. So in this technologically savvy world where there's Facebook, there's Twitter, there's text messaging, it's so easy to get in contact with someone but it's so hard to truly connect and that's where the handwritten note comes in. Oh, you're just telling guys a way to be memorable now, aren't you? We want guys to be gentlemen. And so sometimes it's hard because we, you know, most men aspire to be better. They just need a little help. They need a nudge to, to take them over the edge. <laughs> now, what about the women? <laughs> well, the women, they, we, about half of our customers are women. So this is the gift that gives right back to them. So then when they actually receive a thoughtful handwritten note, they'll be happy they gave their husband or boyfriend a graduation gift, a Father's Day gift, or that thinking of you gift. Now one of the things I'm curious about are some of the clues that you give them and suggestions you give them on what to write. Can we take a, a gander? Yeah. Can I actually read you a couple of the Mad Libs? I would love it. All right. So let's turn to the, uh, the section on, let's do, um, we can do thinking of you or I love you. Why don't we go to the... Uh, I'm sorry section. Okay. Okay. A, a very good reason yeah. why you should have yeah. a note. Okay, let me flip ahead to the sorry section. Please accept my humblest apologies for giving you pink eye. I really value our relationship and regret the hurt I have caused you. Please forgive me. It will not happen again. <laughs> Most men have had to write some sort of note. They probably didn't write pink eye in it, but they can insert... Showing Insert here. Dinner. Yeah, showing up late to dinner or forgetting your birthday or all these other mistakes that men make in their day to day life. Actually, you know, I have to say this actually may be good for a brother or somebody, a friend that you know that's trying to court somebody. <laughs> exactly, exactly. It's the no excuses set for, for men. Now, th there's no reason why they shouldn't be gentlemen after this set. And you're exactly right. Like, it's uh, the handwritten note really differentiates you from a lot of other people. And so if your brother or friend is trying to court their girlfriend, this is a good way to stand out. Mm, can we go ahead and take a look at the collection? Absolutely. Let's do it. Let's do it. So there are five different sets of correspondence systems. Uh, it starts with this set right here, which is our entry-level product. It retails for $25. I notice it looks like a cigar box. Exactly, exactly. And it, the same concept applies where it comes with 12 assorted cards, the access to the online reminder system, the writing guide, and stamp, stamps on the envelope. But it's a more accessible price point because it's linen paper rather than le letterpress printed and it's um, offset printed and so there's this what we call our linen correspondence system and then we also have this purple box that we call our dandy line so these are for more modern gentlemen so you know purple being the in color 
It comes with 12 assorted thank you notes with the back of the cards being, you know, the skulls, the Tom Ford inspired houndstooth, and the purple gingham. Oh, those are a lot of fun. Which, which of these designs do, do you like the most? Or could you see the, the gentleman in your life using? You know, I l actually like all of them. And I'd probably take the skull and crossbones and the houndstooth and mix them together. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, and then so kind of moving up the, the, the retail ladder here, we have the thank you set with 12 thank you, letterpress thank you cards. Um, on 100% cotton paper. This is actually the same paper. We found this 15th century Italian paper mill that nice. supplied Napoleon with his wedding invitations. So we're like, that is such a cool backstory that we need to source paper from that same paper mill. Well, even from here, when I'm looking at, I can see the texture on the yeah. note card. It's, yeah. it's gorgeous. It's like a pillow. You want to just... It makes you want to touch the <laughs> note card. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So this thank you set retails for $50. And it comes in a gorgeous box. It does look like a cigar box once it's, again. Exactly. It's like a, you know, like a Cohiba cigar box, you know. So does that mean you can order refills for the box? You absolutely can. Uh, you order refill cards, however many, in whatever assortment that you'd like. So if you found that you s sent maybe, um, you know, three thank you notes for every birthday card, you can have nine thank you notes and three birthday cards uh, in your assorted 12, 12 cards. Oh, these are a lot of fun. Now you mentioned there's some other ones. I see this, this is the Skulls one we were looking yeah. at, right? The Dandy Collection? So here's the personalized stationery. For, for men or even for a lot of women that have gone into a stationery store to order personalized stationery, they see a binder that's about that thick and their eyes usually glaze over because there are so many decisions to be made. So we've simplified that whole decision-making process and hand-selected six fantastic styles. Three Actually, these are really nice. They're gorgeous. Yeah. Thank you. Three are classic, and then three are what we call dandy for the more modern gentlemen. Well, actually, you take out some of the confusion because the first time I got personalized note cards, it took a while. <laughs> it took a while. <laughs> you know, what's really cool about these, they also come packaged in a la the laser engraved wood box. So again, if you're making the investment to order personalized stationery, we want you to be proud of it and not, you know, stash it away in a desk drawer somewhere. Well, Brett, you are changing the forgetful gentleman into a non-forgettable gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Where can people catch up with you on the internet? Yep, at www.forgetfulgentleman.com.